Now let's look at how to find an unknown side in a triangle by using similarity. So we know that these two triangles are similar, that's given in the problem, and we're asked to find Q. The key to this is understanding uh, geometric notation. Side, uh, the side labeled with Q is from J to L. So that's the first letter and the last letter. What that means is side JL corresponds to side AC. So Q corresponds to 24. Now you need one other pair of corresponding sides. You could do the same thing by looking at the letters. Sometimes you can just look at the picture and you can see that, well, the smallest side, 5, corresponds to the smallest side, 10. Uh, if there's if you're ever unsure about which sides correspond to each other, you need to look at the letters uh, like we did at the beginning. So once you've identified two pairs of corresponding sides, you write down an equation. So Q goes with 24. We're going to look at the ratio. Q to 24, Q over 24. And then 5 goes with 10. So equals 5 over 10. Now this is a really simple equation, you don't need a calculator for it. If you did have uh, a really complicated equation, you could just solve it in a calculator. Um, however, uh, we just have this uh, really simple proportion, so you can cross multiply. 10 times Q is 10Q. 5 times 24, uh, I think that's 120. Divide by 10 on both sides, you get Q equals 12. So, if we did this correctly, that should mean Q is equal to 12, and yeah, we got it right. Anyway, hope this video helped.